This week, the Performance TV gang learns the best way to repair rotted rubber. They check out a great system to remove Jeep hardtops, install a must-have device for UTVs, and puts a super slick additive to the test. All that and more next. Welcome to Performance TV. We've got a great show for you this week. Now, regardless of how much money you have spent restoring your car, customizing your car, painting your car, there are going to be a couple of parts and pieces that really put it over the top. And that's where steel rubber comes in. Danny, window felts, window rubbers, that's what makes it happen. Exactly. Window felts, belt lines, whiskers, they all have different names for them. But those pieces get so much abuse from the UV off the sun. They get a lot of damage from rolling the window up and down, resting your arm on it. They get the oils from your skin on them. They just deteriorate very quickly. And it makes your car look a little dingy when there's little cracks and little pieces missing from those window felts. And we have the parts to replace them. And the sound when you close that door, you want it to be a solid sound. You don't want to hear the window rattle in there when you're going down the road. Exactly. So, so these things will actually keep that window from rattling, hitting the metal. Uh, and they keep everything on track, keep it clean, keep the dust out of your door, keep the rain out of your door. So they're a very essential part. So let's talk about what you've got for us here today. You guys are ever expanding at steel rubber, so I'm curious. Yeah, so over here we have the window felts for 84 to 96 Ford trucks. And right here we have the window felts for 83 to 94 Chevy S10s. So these parts are made exactly for direct fit replacements. They have the clips, the bends, so they just pop right in. It's very easy to install these particular ones, but there's all different kinds and we make a wide arrangement for trucks, cars from the, you know, 40s and 50s all the way up into the 2000s. Now you guys have always amazed me with, uh, first of all, the personalized service and the fact you can get your own catalog for your vehicle so you can see exactly what's available. But those trucks that you just mentioned, they're becoming so popular and people want to save them. They're, some of them are out there rusting. People want to save them, restore them, and so you guys are right in step with what is current and what is popular. Now, how does it work with the catalog? If someone's got an odd off-brand vehicle or something popular, how does that all work? So our catalogs are year, make, model, and even style specific. So if you're working on one of these trucks and you got the four door, we'll send you the catalog for the four door. Uh, but the same with the cars, the hard tops, the sedans, they're all model specific. So you'll just have what's in the catalog that's for your vehicle. So it'll show you all the different types of window felts we have for that vehicle. Like for instance, this 67 Chevrolet uh, Chevelle has three different types of window felts. You have the kind that are what we call the original style that has that big heavy uh, pile on it, that fuzzy stuff. Sure. And then we have the modern type, which is more of what you might see on a car nowadays that has that real short fuzzy. And then we have actually this year, the Chevelles had a California clip, a different clip made in a different factory. So we have that type as well. So whatever you have, we'll be able to put something on it. Depending on your restoration, what you're going for, if you want absolute authentic 1960 version, right. you would get the first one. Right. Now, I've noticed that you also make it easy for people who are unsure of what they've got or certain universal universal applications, like it's something that is an off-brand or something different, they need to seal their window, you can do that also. Right, so we have the same materials that we use to make all these in a universal type application. So you can take it, put it on any car. We have sample packs where you can get a little piece of it and test fit it so you know exactly what it is that you need. Uh, we show you on our YouTube videos how to bend these if your car has a bend on the quarter panel or something. Uh, we show you how to attach them. There's different ways, whether you want to use clips, screws, you can use glue. So we can show you how to get the window felts for your car, even if we don't make a specific set for them. So if you have a specific car and you make the catalog, well, that's easy. But if you have something that requires a universal rubber or felt, you can help people learn how to do that final modification to make it fit. And where is that on your YouTube channel? The YouTube channel has all of our videos as well as our website. Our website has all of the parts listed out and, can, and you can search it by what type of car you have, whether it's a street rod or maybe a muscle car, they're going to use a different style and we can help you with all of that. Our customer service staff is great with helping people find something that they can use. 
So we're, we're there as a resource. And the installation process, we've seen so many on performance TV, and it always seems to be preparation, clean it off, install and it ends up working out and turning really nice. That's exactly what it is. Most of the work when it comes to any kind of weather stripping is the 90% prep. You know, taking it off, cleaning it, make sure you have a nice surface to put everything else on. And then once it goes on, it's good. The surface that it adheres to is good and you're set to go. Bottom line, if they don't see it, they can always give you guys a call. Exactly, that's right. Simple as that. So if you're going to spend a ton of money restoring your car, customizing your car, painting your car, bringing it back to life, you've got to go the extra mile, and Steel Rubber has you covered. We'll be back with more Performance TV after this. Okay, Performance TV fans, here's a fast fact for you. 329 million people live in the United States, and about 88% of those people own cars. That's second only to Italy, where 89% own cars. The rest of the world is in stark contrast. Car ownership averages only 35% the world over. Keep it right here for more Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. RockAuto.com all the parts your car will ever need. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you're a Jeep owner who likes to go topless, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this. The folks at Top Lift Pros are back with an update to their already amazing product. Barry, tell us a little bit about what you've done. Well, as we all know, the Jeeps are a lot of fun and taking the top off makes the Jeep even more fun. What we've done is we've taken the hassle of getting your Jeep hardtop off, we turned it into a very simple and easy, safe way to do that. Now, a lot of our viewers already have this product. It's amazing. One person lifts it up. You've made it even more easy. Show us how. Well, what happens is, is as, as we do normally with it, is we push it into position, we prep it, and then we push on the lever like you had mentioned. But now we prep it, position it, and now it's just a matter of pushing the button. Look at that, one touch, simple, easy. You can do it by yourself. And so you wanna go outside with your Jeep topless, it's gonna be a lot easier to do it. I can imagine a lot of people who have Jeeps really love this product because it just opens up their options. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite compliments that we get from people all the time uh, is this is the best money that they spent on their um, on their Jeep. And that just, that makes it uh, worthwhile. You see people that uh, take this and use it like that. So from top on to top off how long are we talking less than two minutes see and to me that makes every reason you bought the Jeep come to the forefront you can do it quickly you can get out there and it seems like you'd be able to store it pretty easily as well yeah absolutely once you take the hard top up the Jeep it just stays there so it, it comes off in seconds it stores safely instantly and then you just position this in the garage and it, it's it saves Space. It takes up very little room in the garage. And it looks very sturdy also. So rolling around with the top on the Top Lift Pro seems like it would be pretty simple. Oh, it is. It's, it's extremely simple. We, we've we designed this with four independent casters, so it rolls and it's very easy to maneuver whether you're on uh, like a concrete floor or on pavers or, or you know, uh, unimproved surfaces. It works wonderfully. And for people who already have the previous version, you guys are selling this as an add-on, correct? So if they're at home, they see this and go, oh my goodness, I love that yeah they can add it on absolutely this is just this is brand new we just just came out and it's a power assist motor so that we can just as you can see just push a button and does it for does all the work for you no need to go through a lot of work heavy lifting literally just one button it comes up you roll it back you're in the Jeep you're on the road to me that is the ultimate top lift pros you guys have got a good thing going on but I got to see it in action so let's kick it on over to Kathy you know, Joe, with the Top Lift Pro, it's such a cool product, but it's even better to see it in action. I've had an opportunity to use this when you guys first came out with it, and it was super simple just to pop it up using body weight. But now you've got this button, Fred. Right. One finger is really, really cool. Right. So essentially, we've adapted an actuator that just helps remove the top with the touch of a finger and it's all battery operated, self-contained, and we also adapted a trickle charger on there to keep your battery charged at all times, and then when you want to take your top off, it's a topless in two minutes or less. Two minutes or less, and 
Is there any particular way that we need to roll this in? I mean, obviously you've done this quite a few times. Do we need to be careful of how we locate this? So it just goes in center and towards the back, and that's it. And so on a two door, uh, you really don't need to use your support rails, but we always encourage that for safety reasons. And on a four door, we have uh, an extension rail for it. All right, so some of us aren't lucky enough to have a whole lot of you know, room in our garages or whatever. What about storage with this unit? Absolutely phenomenal. So this is the best device on the market, hands down. Storage wise, you're not gonna lose any room in your garage. You can park your Jeep in the garage anywhere you want and put this right in front of it. You can touch your front bumper right to the back legs and boom, it stores right over the hood of your Jeep. No loss of space. That's right. So that way we're not hanging this from the rafters or whatever. We can use this outside if we need to. Extremely efficient. Yes, with one person being able to do it with one finger, we can have the top off in minutes because we bought these Jeeps to get out and enjoy them. Yes, this, so this then, that's what many of our customers say. It's the best money they've ever spent on their Jeep, period. Wow, to be able to do this. And, and of course, if you can buy the unit the way it is here, or if you want to retrofit, it, one you may already have. You can check out their website for more at topliftpros.com and we'll have more performance TV right after this. The internal combustion engine was invented by French engineer J.J. Etienne Lenoir in 1859, but it was over a quarter century later before it would find its way to the automobile. German mechanical engineer Carl Benz designed and built the first practical car with an internal combustion engine in 1885. Just think, without those guys, Performance TV would probably be featuring the latest in steam engine technology. We'll be right back. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Thanks for joining us for more of Performance TV. You know, you're out on your UTV, you're having a great time, and we know they're pretty rugged, but every once in a while, you get one of those rocks or some other kind of debris that comes up and just destroys, say your wheels, like this guy here, just destroyed the heck out of his wheel and other stuff in the suspension. We've got something here today that's gonna help you deflect that problem, so to speak, thanks to our friends at k-utv.com, and it's called the Rock Knocker. It's gonna knock stuff away. How is it gonna happen? This nice, heavy duty piece of rubber, all of the hardware that you need comes with it, and it's gonna deflect those problems away from your wheels and other suspension items. Let's say you have more of a racing type UTV. Well, they're gonna recommend the Rock Knocker Pro. Basically takes everything from the original and gives you two more inches in length because of the 32 inch or bigger tire and wheel combination. Or if you wanna go just a little bit wider, the 10 inch double D rock knocker is really gonna help you with a whole lot of protection. They're super easy to install. And for that, let's get Joe to put a pair on. Thanks, Kathy. This is one that I would mark down as an ounce of prevention. You got this brand new vehicle, you wanna keep it nice, why not get a product like the Rock Knocker? Andy is here. Andy, you came up with this idea and we're gonna do the install. What is the first step? Well, the first step after you unbox your Rock Knockers out of the box, locate your right and your left. They will be marked R for right, L for left. Grab two 18 millimeter wrenches and we can get to work. Let's do it. So this is a brand new machine and these things are super cool, so much fun out there in the wilderness. But every once in a while, you're gonna encounter something that could cause a little damage, and you saw that problem and you fixed it. That's right, you know, with the way these trailing arms are designed on these new vehicles, rocks and other debris can come back here, bounce off the side of this trailing arm, and get wedged inside of the rear wheel. And we saw how much damage that can cause, and it can leave you stranded out there, and that's, we all know you don't want that, because that can be awfully dangerous, it's unsafe, and you just have to do the hassle of changing a tire when you're out there just to go ride and have fun. Who wants to do that? Damage and a safety issue. So here is the rock knocker, right side, marked right. We got that part right. The plate just fell right out. It is greased because this is a brand new vehicle. If you have an older vehicle though, you probably want to grease it. Yeah, grease it after you get this back installed because this plate here, as you see, it helps retain all the grease and that's what your torsion bar bushing rides in and that's what this will take place of. Simple as that, all right. So we are gonna slide the rock knocker in place and it should go very simply in, which, there we go, one moment please. 
fighting me, but I beat it. And once you get it just started, go ahead and just put your nut, just hand start your nut on the back side of your first bolt. And then Joe's already got the second bolt in, so we'll go ahead and just put the nut on that as well. Speaking of bolt in, no drilling, no pop rivet, just a bolt in process. That makes it easy for anybody to do. That's right, no drilling, no riveting, no welding, no anything like that. It's just simple bolt in process. All right, so now we've got it kind of in place. What about alignment issues? Well, we're just gonna wanna make sure that it's just sitting level. These do come with slots in them, so you can kind of move them in or out, whichever way your vehicle needs to, needs to have it on. There's the top. Let me know when you're ready on yep, the bottom. We're ready. There we go. Now, Perfect. what about torque specs on something like this? Well, the manufacturer recommends these need to be at 70 to 80 foot pounds of torque, but I like to just get them really, really, really tight. And I do come back and check these often, as well as, you know, after most of the rides, you go through and check a lot of bolts, but be sure to check these. Absolutely. So we just hit them, they're tight, and the rock knocker goes in position very easily. Now, I noticed a couple other things about the product, Andy, in that this is a very thick rubber. Why is that an advantage? Well, the rubber, so in case you are crawling over some big obstacle or anything like that, a big rock, it will flex and not break, but it just springs right back to where its normal position is. It's super thick, so it's still heavy enough. If any debris does come back here, it will hang down and it'll hit off of that and bounce right up. So a lot of thought put into this product going to keep you safer out there on the road, going to protect your vehicle. You just spent a lot of money to get it right. Why would you not do it with an install as easy as that? Andy, thank you very much. For more information, hit the website. This is something, if you're a UTV user, you're definitely going to want to have. We'll be back with more Performance TV after this. All right, Performance TV people, time to check your automotive IQ. 17 million cars were sold in the U.S. in 2018. What percentage of those were plug-in electric cars? Was it 20, 10, 6, or 2? It was only 2%, but that's still a significant number, over 340,000 in all. We'll be right back after this. TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Top Lift Pros. Now you can live outside the box with Top Lift Pros. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by Car Capsule, protecting vehicles for over 20 years. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you have a big rig, say maybe a race rig, a whole fleet of trucks. Wouldn't it be great if you had an opportunity to save on maintenance costs, increase your fuel mileage, and of course, that's going to save a whole lot of money, plus save wear and tear. Well, we've got an idea for you. And for more, let's go inside with Joe. Thanks, Kathy. Steel Shield is a made in America friction reducing metal treatment. Now, it's going to help us with our fuel mileage on that truck outside. But, Mark, you've got a whole line of products. Right. And they all contain our advanced boundary film technology that attaches to the metal surfaces so we treat the metal and not the oil. Now let's, let's go into that. Metal may look smooth, but it's not. Right, it's porous. There's hills and valleys. So our product will go in and attach to the negative valleys chemically. And then we, instead of uh, like a magnet, instead of two surfaces come together attaching to each other, it's, they're gonna repel. So that helps to reduce the friction on metal and the metal surfaces. So anywhere that there is friction, whether it be your power steering pump, uh, regular uh, nuts and bolts or otherwise, you guys have got a product that can typically help. You're widely used in industry, but you've got an example for us here today. Yes, we're going to demonstrate the product for the trucking industry, which will help reduce the friction. And when you reduce the friction, you save energy. In this case, you see it in your fuel bill. Which I would love. Let's see it. Okay. I love demonstrations like this here on Performance TV. Right, so we're gonna take some standard 1540 diesel engine oil. We're gonna put it in the reservoir. This is a Timken OK load test. It's a standard for testing heat and friction. And by using two surfaces, one is a Timken race with a Rockwell hardness of C62. And the other surface is in the holder it's a Felix tapered test roll, has a Rockwell hardness of C58. Two things to watch is the amp meter, which is going to measure the load on the electric motor, and the scale. 
Every pound applied on the scale is equivalent to over 30 pounds of pressure point to point with the focal arm right here. So we're going to turn it on. Wow. See, we failed close to 10 pounds. And already, you can see the wear that's taking place. Even with oil, it just right. stopped, heated up. Just to show you the consistency of the test machine, we'll turn it to a new spot, put it back on, we'll pull down again. And shut it right down. Nine pounds, correct. Again, about the same wear mark. So I'm going to turn it to a new spot. We're going to take the oil away. And I'm excited about this. Well, when you see the reduction that we're going to do, you're going to see, wow, you could save a fuel by using steel shield products. Think about if you have a fleet of trucks. If you can do anything Absolutely. to increase your mileage, you're going to save a lot of money. Absolutely. You see a lot of the air deflectors on the trailers. This is a real quick fix for saving fuel. All right, here we go. You cannot shut it down. Look at that. All the way down the bottom. We didn't clean the race, which would actually have even less of wear due to less friction on the two metal surfaces. But you could see at the bottom of the scale, you have a polished part, uh, point. And the steel shield proves itself right here on Performance TV. So it's pretty cool to learn about products like that where you can save the life of parts and pieces on your vehicle all the way up to big rigs just like this. Find out more about their line of products by going to their website at steelshieldtech.com. You know, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Performance TV. If you have a product that you would like to see us feature on the show, just shoot an email over to jeff at masterstv.com and we'll see you next week for more of Performance TV.